This video will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the Micro Swiss All Metal Hot End Kit on the CR10 Pro 3D printer. Before the installation can begin, the following tools will be needed. To begin the installation, first remove the silicone sock while the hot end is still cold. Preheat the hot end to 230 degrees. Remove the original nozzle with an 8mm wrench. Let the machine cool down. After it cools down, turn it off and unplug the power cable. Remove the PTFE Bowden tube. Next, remove the fan assembly. Remove the stock hot end from the carriage. Unscrew and remove the thermistor and the heater cartridge. Be careful not to damage the delicate wires. Your new kit should come with the slotted heater block, cooling block with a titanium thermal brake, plated wear-resistant MK8 nozzle, silicone sock, and the hardware kit. Reinstall the heater cartridge and the thermistor on the new heater block. Again, be careful with the wires. Make sure not to over tighten the thermistor screw as this can damage and shorten the signal wires. Next, screw in the titanium thermal brake into the heater block and tighten it with the provided 7mm spanner. It's important to install the titanium piece first before installing the nozzle. This will ensure a proper seal. Install the nozzle. Install the new cooling block onto the carriage plate. Insert the grub screw into the cooling block and screw it about one turn. Install the heater block and the thermal brake assembly into the cooling block. Make sure the thermal brake is seated fully inside the cooling block. Tighten the grub screw, but keep in mind that we will come back and tighten it more after preheating. Plug in the printer and power it on. Preheat the hot end to 230 degrees. Support the heater block with an adjustable wrench or some pliers. Seat the nozzle with a 7mm wrench. This is a critical step to avoid any leaking. If you have a torque wrench, use the 30-inch pound setting. While the hot end is still hot, 
fully tighten the heater cartridge and the thermal tube grub screw. Before finishing the installation, let the hot end cool down. Keep in mind there is no fan blowing, cooling down will take longer. After it cools down, install the silicone sock, install the Bowden tube, use the collet clip provided with the kit to eliminate any slack. Push down on the Bowden tube so it seats as deep as possible inside the cooling block. Install the cooling fan assembly. Don't forget to re-level the bed. After installation, the height might have changed a little bit. Some tips for using an all-metal hot end. Reduce your attraction amount to no more than 4 millimeters. You might have to increase the hot end temperature by about 5 degrees, depending on the filament brand you are using. Make sure the cooling block fan always runs at full speed. Enjoy your upgraded hot end from MicroSwiss.